Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebecca and today I am back in my garden and I am processing all of the garlic that I harvested. So it's been a couple weeks since I harvested this garlic um, and it is time now to clean up the roots, take off the stems and get them ready for some long-ish term storage. So I did end up selling a bunch of the garlic that I had and I actually sold the best bulbs that I had which um, if you've watched my other video I'll post it up top so you can go take a look if you haven't seen it already um, I didn't plant this garlic and I think it was just planted and then it never harvested so it regrew itself um, and it was all bunched very closely together so my harvest was not that great I have a ton of tiny bulbs that I'm just gonna actually replant um, in the fall. So I sold my best bulbs and then I gave a bunch away and um, the rest of this I, I'm gonna give a couple more bulbs away and then the rest I'm keeping for my neighbor and I. And I actually have some that I processed last night that I am making an olive oil with um, a garlic infused olive oil. So today the plan is just to get these cleaned up and get them ready for some storage. So now that the garlic has sat and cured for a couple weeks, you want to clean this up, right? So you're not going to store it with all this stuff on it, obviously. So what you want to do is give yourself a little bit of room at the top of the bulb of the garlic and just cut off this excess. I'm actually going to throw this right in my compost bin um, so it doesn't go to waste. It'll get composted in my bin. And then you want to give the roots a little bit of a haircut. So you just want to cut off the bottom just a little bit. You can leave a little bit on and then I'm just gonna clean this off. So you want a good looking bulb that doesn't have a ton of dirt on it but still keeping the outer layer on it. You don't want to peel off the outer layer and there you go. Um, so I only have to do this about a hundred more times <laughs> and then my garlic harvest will be ready for storage. This will store for about six to nine months. I know that hard neck garlic, which is what this is, does not store as long as the soft neck garlic does. Um, but if you store it properly, then you should get around six to nine months out of it. It took me quite a while to get through all of the bulbs that I, I had out in the garden, but believe it or not, it was actually kind of relaxing just to be out in the garden and listen to the birds. And it was a beautiful day. So it wasn't too hot and I was in the shade and there was a nice breeze. So it was really nice to just be out there um, in the garden. Um, I did have a bunch of pieces that I found that I had like dug into while I was digging them up. Um, so I got rid of those. Some of them, they were only a little bit compromised, like maybe one of the bulbs um, of the whole, or one of the cloves. <laughs> I just kept those cloves, put them aside, and I'm going to use them later in the fall when I actually plant more garlic. It has been well over an hour since I've been standing here processing the garlic, and I'm finally done. Um, so it doesn't look like as much as I began with, but that's because I gave a lot of it away. Um, and I sold some of it. So this is one basket that I have prepared. This is actually going to my neighbor. Um, and then I have another basket that I'm going to keep for myself and then I'm also giving some more of this away. My father-in-law is actually on his way over here to help my husband with something. Um, so I'm going to send him home with some garlic. And then I also have a ton of garlic that I'm going to save and harvest or, and plant for next fall. So let me show you. This is all of the garlic that was really just too small. Um, to, to do anything with. A lot of them are just like one single clove, like this right here. It's just a single clove of garlic. Um, I am going to save all of these and then I'm going to plant them all in the fall. And this should give me a pretty good harvest for next year. And I'm actually going to plant them properly, find a space in my garden for them, and those will be next year's crop. This is what is left over from the scapes that actually started to blossom that would eventually turn into flowers. Um, so I am going to use these smaller scapes um, or you know little bulbs from the scapes. Um, the only thing with these is that you might not get an initial harvest which it might actually take up to two years. Um, 
but I don't see why I shouldn't do that. I don't want these to go to waste. So I am going to just, I'll plant these in a separate part of my garden and see how they do. Like this whole garlic thing has been completely new to me, aside from the fact that I like to buy jars of it from the store and eat it. Um, so this has been quite a journey. And this is just another step in the journey of more to follow. I actually have some garlic that I peeled and prepped last night that I'm going to make a garlic oil out of tonight. So the prep process takes 24 hours. I didn't finish till eight o'clock last night. So it's it has to sit until at least eight o'clock tonight. So that is the next part of my journey that I will be doing with this garlic. I took the scraps from all of the garlic that I prepped today and I threw it right in my compost bin, which is going to give it a nice layer of stuff to break down and turn into compost so I'm gonna let it sit for a couple days and then I will eventually turn it over when I started this journey with the garlic first of all I had no idea what it was that was actually growing in my garden and then I didn't know much about it and who knew there was so much that you could actually learn about garlic I have learned so much and it's been really fun and I've really enjoyed it and so I'm really looking forward to planting in the fall, finding a great space in my garden for it, and then uh, watching it grow in the spring and then harvesting it early next summer. I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope you stick along for the journey and watch how different the crop will hopefully be from this year compared to when I didn't even plant it and it was just, you know, replanted itself from the previous year that I didn't even know it was here in the garden to next year when I actually do the work to plant it properly and I imagine that the bulbs will be much better quality, they'll be much bigger and I'll have a much better harvest because I'm planting them properly. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can follow along to my next journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.